All right, I'm just going to make a quick video here to demonstrate how to use Pro Tools to perform CD frames editing. Uh, CD frames, also called CD sectors. For those who don't understand, on an audio CD, there are 75 frames per second. And uh, different burning softwares can handle incomplete sectors. When you bring in a file for burning, they handle it differently. Uh, most will uh, pad an empty sector with silence. Uh, before the next track start, especially have, if you have a pre-roll or pause time uh, set up for every track. Um, I'm not 100% certain about all burning softwares, but I know uh, the better professional pre-mastering software that when you put zero pause time between tracks, that it will actually advance the next track into the empty sector to fill it up uh, so that there's not a gap of uh, uh, just a tiny bit of silence there. But by doing so, it actually will move your track start to the next complete sector point, and it'll actually move it from where you think it's going to happen. So you can actually perform CD frames grid editing in Pro Tools, even though it's not specifically set up for it. I saw this trick on the on the duck uh, years ago, and uh, it's come in handy for me, uh, and uh, I thought uh, other people knowing about it uh, might find it useful. As far as my pre-mastering goes, I still use uh, Jam 5, I found not that long ago that Jam 5 will operate on Tiger, and I still have an old G4 with, uh, I don't even have to boot it up on OS 9 anymore now that I discovered Jam uh, works on Tiger. So anyway, uh, to do the CD frames editing in Pro Tools, uh, a few things you got to do, pretty simple here to set it up. Uh, we're going to move to the bars beats counter, and we're going to set, uh, we're going to go to grid mode, and uh, we're going to set our grid at 164th. And we're going to change our tempo. We're going to turn off the conductor and change our tempo to 281.25 uh, beats per minute. So uh, that's it. We've got a uh, bars beats counter. We're on grid mode. We're at 281.25 beats per minute. And our grid is set to 164th note. That's it. We are set up right now for CD frames editing. If I go in here and show you... Uh, with there being 75 frames per second, that's 588 stereo samples per frame. If we click right here, we can see we have 588. So it shows us that our grid is at the CD frames uh, frame size or sector size. So uh, what we can do is start pulling in files or uh, regions and do whatever editing we need to do. If you want to slip uh, the, the cut on the front, holding the control key here on Windows, and we can slip off the grid, and then, of course, we can slide the rest of it on. Maybe we want to bring in another file, and we want to uh, uh, crossfade it in here. You know, we want it to overlap just a touch. We can uh, slip and over overlap, and we can do a crossfade. And uh, then what we would have to do is we'd have to consolidate it. And once that's consolidated and we like the crossfade and it does, it sounds pretty seamless, then you can come in here and find the point that we want to add the, the um, uh, track start. And that's where we would do the cut. And when all is said and done, uh, after everything's been consolidated and then you've cut on the grid or slid things on the grid to where you want the track start to be, then uh, we could export the regions as files and bring them into burning software and burn it and you know for certain that your track start is happening right exactly where you want it to in that audio file. Anyway, just thought uh, some people would find that interesting. Uh, thanks.